Kana Simple Systems LLC. If you are new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the latest tutorials on Yapinet. Today we are diving into how to set up a journal entry in Yapinet. Let's get started. Before we jump into the steps, let's quickly talk about a journal entry. In Yapinet, journal entries are used to record all your accounting transactions like expenses, income, or transactions between accounts. For example, if you are paying an office rent or transferring funds between accounts, a journal entry is maintained to capture that transaction. Before creating a journal entry, it's helpful to have a template prepared. A journal entry template ensures accuracy, page time, and makes it easy to handle repetitive transactions like recurring expenses or internal transfers. So let's prepare one template together. From the main dashboard of ERPNet, navigate to your accounting module and here from your accounting module keep to your journal entry template and add one for the title i'll name it as office rent and journal entry type as you can see apinex provides a variety of journal entry types to suit different financial needs each type is tailored for a specific transaction Let's talk about some bank entry. This type is used to record transactions involving your bank account, such as deposits, withdrawal, or bank charges. Let's talk about one more. We can take opening entry, which is specifically used when setting up your accounting system. In ERPNX, it helps to record your opening balances, such as initial bank balance, outstanding invoices, or capital. For this transaction, I am choosing bank entry. And I'll add the particular accounts. After filling out all the details, click on save. And now we'll move forward with our general entry setup. Here we'll select the template which we have created earlier, Office Rent. As you can see by selecting the template, the account names are already fetched. So we'll fill out the debit and credit amount. Always remember your debit and credit amount should be equal so that you can calculate your total difference. You can provide a reference number here in case of rent i'll you can also provide a reference date you can also give a remark in that case i'll give january office rent after filling out all the details, save and submit. You can also view the ledger of this journal entry. See, and that's it. Setting up a journal entry in Yapinex is super simple. And once you know the step, you you will be able to create in just few clicks. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and share it with others. Comment below if you have any question or if there is a specific topic you would like us to cover next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.